Let me give you another one. I'm going to just give you one more. One more? Yeah, one more. A guy named John Dewey. Anybody know who John Dewey is? He's probably the most evil of all. I'm not talking about Dewey Decimal Dewey. Although that made me crazy when I was in high school, okay? I'm not talking about that Dewey. A guy named John Dewey. He's considered the father of modern progressive liberal education and the movement that he started. He signed a document called the Humanist Manifesto, which was committed to taking God out of our schools. He made this statement. He said, there is no God and there is no soul. Hence, there is no need for the props of traditional religion with dogma and creed included. Then immutable truth is dead and buried. There is no room for fixed or natural law or permanent moral absolutes. He preached a, uh, he preached a doctrine of sex, secular humanism. And it corrupted our school system that is educating our nation. Guess where he's from? Guess where he did this first? New York City. Can you see that this empire spirit has been responsible for building ideology, building philosophy, building a, building a structure that is being then exported, not just throughout our nation, but throughout the world. One man that signed the Humanist Manifesto says, education, listen to what he said, education is thus a most powerful ally of humanism. And every public school is a school of humanism. Humanism, he wrote this in a book called Humanism, The New Religion. He said, what can theistic Sunday school, meeting for an hour once a week and teaching only a fraction of the children do to stem the tide of a five-day program of humanistic teaching? birthed out of New York. You know what else got birthed out of New York? The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Upstate New York. False demonic manifestation of a false angel that gave a Book of Mormon that is leading souls astray. You know what else got birthed out of New York? Spiritism, communication with the dead, mediums, witches. A lot of that came out of upstate New York. Can you guys see? It was to build an empire. And that empire has never been empowered to rule, and yet it's ruling us. It's ruling this region. And I heard God say, enough is enough. <laughs> empires rise and empires fall. Let me say it again, empires rise and empires fall. And I heard, when I was preparing, during worship, I heard the sound of a demon say, you can't put that genie back in a bottle. And I said, watch us. <laughs> By the way, and I might talk about a little bit more about Leviathan, did, did you hear that part of the prophetic word where Leviathan, the body is sitting in the harbor. It's got a head in each of the boroughs, a head on New Jersey, a head in the water, seven heads. And Leviathan in scripture referred to ancient Assyria, one of the first empires. I want you to stand to your feet. Here's what the Lord says about this empire spirit that's rooted in ancient Assyria. Isaiah 30, 31, he says, the voice of the Lord will shatter Assyria. No, 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 y'all didn't get it. The voice of the Lord will shatter Assyria. NIV says, with his scepter, he will strike them down. 
every stroke the Lord lays on the back of the enemy with his punishing rod will be to the music of tambourines and harps as he fights him in battle with the blows of his arm. Come on, God is saying, I am raising up prophets. I am raising up worshipers. I am raising up warriors. I am sending angel armies down. I am raising up Cyruses to go into all the aspects of the, uh, of the, the empire and begin to overthrow the empire in the financial district, to overthrow the empire in the courts of the land, to overthrow the empire in the education system. Come on, people, do we believe that this is the God that we serve? Lord, we decree right now, God, that we've come to overthrow the decrees of the enemy. We've come to overthrow the authority of the empire spirit. We've come tonight, God, to begin to empower a generation that believes, God, that we can reform that which the enemy set in motion. Lord, we decree enough is enough. We decree that this, uh, this empire is beginning to break apart and come down. We decree the money that's keeping the power brokers in place is drying up and coming down. Come on, it's underpinned by money. God, we decree right now. Come on, prophets, come on up here. I want you to prophesy into this with me. We decree right now, God. Lord, this has been here for as long as we've been a nation. But we declare right now, enough is enough. We declare this empire spirit with its philosophies, with its ideologies. We declare this empire spirit with its military might, with its media might, with its with the mouth that it produces over the land. And Lord, we pray that you would forgive us, God, for letting the empire spirit in the churches Lord, let scales, we decree scales are coming off of eyes. We decree people are waking up. We decree leaders are waking up. We decree you're sending dreams to the Nebuchadnezzars that are leading New York City, that are leading aspects of the empire. We decree, oh God, that you're breaking in pieces the heads of Leviathan. We decree, oh God, that this empire is going to begin to shatter because the voice of the Lord shatters the enemy. Yeah, come on, give the Lord a shout. <laughs>